see if we can. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, group stage. Final. Final stage? No, no, no. 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 Final big stadium. But don't matter, we go home. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 G2 International League. Looks G2A, G3 I want to talk about expectations. All right. This is a conversation I heard you mention during your interview uh, that Carlos has talked about in his interviews that all of you must be thinking about what are our expectations heading into a tournament like this, given the, the like, memes that are going on around G2 as like an international choker, right? Even though, like, we know from the inside that like we had a new roster in one event and then the other event was just like there's only one winner in a tournament like everybody else is a loser and uh there's a lot of like weird understanding from fans about what it means to go out early and go out late but the, the point is like there's a winner and everybody else lost it doesn't really matter when you lose if you're not the champion so i want to address this because there's a there's like a i'm trying to control my mindset and i'm afraid approach and then there's an approach where you can use expectations to power you and fuel you so the mantra that i want you guys to when i came into the team the first thing i noticed was the atmosphere was very humble and very hungry and i don't really know what what kind of like uh, atmosphere they had before Worlds, obviously. And I don't really know what that experience did to them at Worlds because I didn't know the players in a very deep way before that. But, but what I saw when I came in was that people were willing to have an ego, you know, like publicly or, you know, in their social media or, or wherever it was necessary kind of to provide themselves motivation to be the best. But then they had made the decision each individually that that line was, was drawn in terms of performance. Since the start of the split, the atmosphere and team has been really good. We've all drawn a lot of lessons from our failure at Worlds. As a result of that, I think uh, the scrims have been a lot more efficient because we have learned our lessons and what we can and can't get away with. We have uh, taken the hard route, which is to work hard, but also work more efficient, which comes with a lot of sacrifices, but it's something we are willing to do. Sven gets caught up by the chase of corruption. Might go down here, exhaust. Thunderlords is going to be enough with the minion autos. First blood goes the way of Sword Art. They're looking for the first tower, but Carson's looking for kills first. Mithy down to just over 400 HP. Maples arrived as well. Flash ultimate. They're looking to get the damage down. Mithy goes down. Sven, he's going to drop as well. Double kill comes through for Maple. It's 5 0 to Flash Wolf. We see people rotating to... <laughs> oh, actually, everyone dodging away from each other. Casa will be rooted by the bowler. This surely will be a trade kill. G2 finally get themselves on the board. Make sure that happens. Again, a couple more autos will secure it. Kurt Call comes on out. They deny the kill and the hit by just a sliver of HP. Perks, though, he's all alone. He's gone way too far in. He's bleeding out, and it's going to be Casa flashing forwards. But it was too far forwards. Expect grabs the kill. And now we see Trick jumping on it. They want more off the back of this one. MMD healed by the redemption, but Mithy is looking to root him. Oh, what a piercing arrow. Mithy tries to block it, but it's not enough. Perks goes down. But there's nothing they can do. Two members have gone down. Expect he'll drop as well. It's a double coming through for Maple. Guardian Angels across the board. This is going to be Flash Wolves taking a dominant victory over Game. Looking back at the game, uh, we had a different meta than they did and they had a more correct version of the meta. So our draft wasn't optimal. And while we did have win conditions, we also completely not followed them. So uh, Flash Wolves got away with a really easy victory there.
Carlos just called to say that he wanted to, to tell you guys that you have his his and the org's unconditional love. That like no matter the results today, what he really, really wants is that you guys that we have international experience and we start like figuring out where our holes are. So it's not about winning or losing, it's about regret. The worst thing to leave a tournament with is regret. And I sense a lot of regret after yesterday's game in people feeling like I should have, I should have, I could have um, about like being more aggressive or more playmaking or more just like going down with a fight when they felt like they could have. And so I really want today's match to be about proving to yourself that you don't want to regret today. After we lost the first game, I thought, oh, here we go again. You know, same thing, too much pressure, international event. However, when we started preparing for Kungdu, that all went away because I've, I had a lot of trust in the players and the growth that they've been having throughout the entire split. G2 faces death or they face redemption and they're going up against a very strong LCK opponent in the form of Kongdu Monster. Victory is not something that is given, it's something you take. You go out there and take what is yours. Don't let anyone get in your way. The victors write history and the losers get wiped from it. One, two, three. G2 fighting! Speaking of kills, yep. flashes and flashes and exhausts on and Perks takes down Edge. Trick is able to live through, but Punch jumps right back into the sky and goes Perks for a quick double. Oh, that was a hero's charge for sure, but he's not going to live to tell this tale. It's Perks on a rampage kill, his fourth of the game. G2 eyes on the prize to finish the game in style. G2 fans have waited so long to see a performance like this on the international stage. We are halfway through this elimination match between G2 and Kongdu Monster, and I've got to be honest, G2 looked on fire in their first game. Much soul and Guger all up on the top side, though, but they're met by expected trick that numbers do not quite work Teleport's out. Teleport's pretty deep here. is coming in. Guger making himself look tasty. Mithy's coming in as well, but Roach on the back side. Guger is going to get blown through by Trick. And Edge coming around the side to try and answer the charge. It's Punch who knocks him down with the collateral damage. Ryze doesn't have to back still in the fight. As speaking oh, of fight. Oh, that was nasty. Edge waits out the spell shield. And he just shatters. Sven. Face and expect gets pulled back in by the dredge line of Roach. They might turn around on this one, but Soul is untouched and he goes for the curtain call kickback by Trick. Expect is going down and Edge gets the kill. Fourth on the game for him and now Perks is running and running and Edge running away. More. It's blown through for a double. Edge gets one more and now they, they go Sven as well. Two. Sven, let's see if they can get this kill. Flashing forward for a triple. Oh baby, they're onto the base. And Kong do find the decisiveness. They make this series a lot more interesting and they will even the score at one to one. We should be winning this. Definitely don't want to go home losing in group stage. That's like the last thing we expected. I just want us to have like a good international showing or at least have at least one series win so we can grow into the tournament or at least like get rid of the curse and the mental blocks and everything. So if we win this one, at least worst case scenario, we've won something and then we can go to hopefully to MSI if we qualify and not fuck up there and show our true potential. So yeah, nervous, because I think this series is really important for the growth of the team. Hey guys, circle up, right? circle they up, please. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. speak thumb. Okay. They're not even running thumb. Please okay, take care oh, no, of your jungle no, no. level. Second, please so. take care of your jungle levels one through three. Make it a but five man ploy, yeah, because so they they are doing something though. But yeah. they're they're taking vision yeah, timers, they're taking warding mission camps. You got to figure out like where you can sneak camps from them. Try to figure it out. One, two, three. Jingle Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. It is do or die for both teams in the final game of today. The one and one G2 Esports Kongdu Monster for all the marbles. The winner goes to Spodek. The loser goes home. G2 on the ropes. They have got to knock this one out of the park. Really early game. It was all about buying that time. He flashes on level two, has the Q, and they launch it for first blood. Sven secures it. And Soul is left limping. They're going to try proxying oh here. Boy. Soul's walking up. He has no idea. Out of the rushes comes the Solar Flare. They land the combo on, and quick as you like, Trick picks up a kill. So oh. up top, there is going to be another Mountain Drake spawning. Oh, oh. And Guger is not going to be around to see it. Perk says, see you later, buddy. They're on the mid tower. They want the Flare on the Soul. That damage. 
Almost enough, but it forces the heal. They knock down Midtown with those Baron and Power minions. Gets Baron. But looking for redemption, and they took down Soul in the process. Roach goes in for a big play, but it's gonna be Expect, who knocks Soul down to zero. Trick taken out. Roach punches, flashing the wrong way. Nowhere to go. They've done it. They managed to get themselves a big win on the international stage. Classy ace, and they finish the job just under 30 minutes. G2 have done it. They've slain the Kong Du monster to move on to Spoden. Release, relieved, relieved. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. GG, I'm talking. No? Yeah, yeah, you really are. I can't hear you. Winning against Kongu Monsters was a little bit bittersweet because while we got our first international win against a non wildcard team, it didn't really feel like a victory because we struggled so much against the 10th place team in LCK. So it, it kind of showed to us that we still have so much to work on and that we're really far behind the best teams in the world. Today we're in Spodek Arena, where we have our media obligations, uh, photo shoots, uh, some uh, fan videos, and we also have an entire day to practice. Um, it's our final day of practice before we face Unicorn, so it's a very important day. I don't take a picture of my pants because my pants are fucked up. There is some chocolate here on my pants. Can't see it, but it sucks. Not much I can do. If you're hungry, just eat a fix. It's not filming for today. I'm <laughs> next. Oh, ink. I don't believe it. No, come. No. <laughs> you, 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 you. What? No, no, you, you, you can't carry me. No, guy. <laughs> My weight 100 kilos. No, no, I can carry. Of your muscle. No, come. Ah, <laughs> no, you come, you come. Yeah. Yeah, you come, it. come, trust fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, have you? <laughs> I trust. <laughs> There is no trust in our If you team. can't trust me, go league game and I say go and you don't go. <laughs> there is no trust in our team, guys. No, no, no. Bro, trust me, trust me. Yeah, trust no, me. I, don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> I, I would trust him maybe, but not you. No. Maybe we should have like a, like a pillow on the on board. Ah, there's, there's, there's no trust in him. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. I'm ready, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm stuck. Girl? No. I can't trust you. I don't trust him. <laughs> you let me down. <laughs> no, no. Then I want to, after the tournament maybe. <laughs> after the tournament I die fine, but after we after win the final we can do it. Yeah, maybe then we can do it. Telling me. What? No, no, I, I die. Fuck it down. Fuck it down. <laughs> no, I, I want to die. I'm smart. Okay, you you first. Oh yeah. You first? Yeah. Uh, come. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you me? Are you falling down or what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, 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 I'm on a kilo. 100 kilo? Yeah, pure muscle. No, no, no. Come, come, come. I trust you. Yeah. I don't like trust you, but. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> Wait, we're tired. I, I do this. <laughs> no, need, need a weight. If you can. Okay, okay, okay. Because else I do this, you know. You're so heavy. Yeah, I'm one kilo pure muscle. Yeah. 
No, your preparation should be you leave the page where you had previous preparation for unicorns, and you just okay. Yeah. You just copy it. It's probably actually like right here somewhere. Yeah, good. Oh, I actually think I have all the notes from Unicorn Games. Yeah, I should. Should I? They should print it. Or no? Yeah, it's Unicorn. Yeah, Joey. The Gucci. But things have changed. Times have changed. They are good, they are scary good. And so we are coming today with, I hope, the right mindset. We worked a lot for it, and let's see how it's gonna go. Inevitability complex. That's what I'm starting to feel when I watch you guys late game. When I watch you guys from 20 minutes onward, I feel inevitable, like it's inevitable that you're going to win. Because you're tracking across the map the things that you need to in order to set up. Please concentrate after 20 minutes, always, even before, playing as a five-man unit, okay? Yeah. Deha, five-man unit. Every play is five-man, five people. Luca. At the level one party, it's gonna be exile time. Blown up for first blood. Dragon going low, can they smite steal it away? No, it's gonna be taken by Cersei. And they go invulnerable for a few seconds. Curtain call opened up. It was all a bait after the fact, but expect is around the backside. Exile going down. It's a double kill for Sven now as they pick up a third. G2 reacts with ferocity rarely seen. A double kill for a purse. He is rolling it once again. Chachi. <laughs> But one, one quick thing, mindset-wise, you guys remember what it felt like to do the engage bottom after you did the comeback? So like, when you engaged on the bot, like, you had full clarity of uh, why that engage was smart, and the fact that only three were showing, and like somebody else was mispositioned. Oh, I just the block, I mean, I'm like, okay, go, go Yeah, down. exactly, right? So that's what it feels like to like, have the kind of confidence that you know what you're doing and you're not rushing things and you're still know that you need to pull the trigger, okay? So like I just want you to recognize, it's like if you see the horses around and they have the, like the blinders on, you guys did that play with the blinders off. And so often, after what unicorns did with those two moves, this happened, where you have your blinders on, you're like, we have to do something now, we still have a lead, but we just want to fight, so really good job, like, make sure you keep the fundamentals square when you do the re-engage after comeback plays, like what they did. Could have been bad. Okay. One, two, three. Get away! Did and Luda, what they don't realize is that there is a whole G2 lineup in that brush. Oh boy, normally you expect this to couple, you can see the Zyra, and you only oh, saw... Oh no, the one in Hillisang takes the bait and gives first blood to Perks again. But Trick is really trying to push the line, and Samix, once again, the all-in from Perks happens, but he gets exhausted, and Samix is gonna live through it by the skin of his teeth and a lot of help from Hillisang. Tower taken out in the top, and Chachi is going to get hopped on by Trick. Exhaust comes just a smidge too late. Specs is gonna tank the rest of this up. G2 forced their way into the space. They're looking to make it two for zero. Samix gets interrupted. Expect with a killing spree of his own, and the Unicorns are collapsing. Ow. That's the Aces, 37 minutes in G2. They're the ones inside the base of the Unicorns. Nothing left for them to do. It looked like they might be able to fire back, but at the end of the day, it is G2-0 on the board. They will advance for a semi-final showdown against the Rux Tigers. On Mantra E, everyone get Arden Sensor. I'm nervous. Really? Nervous is good. You play good now. 
Remember well done, breathe? No, it's a power nap. If, yeah, if I, I get stressed, uh, my face. Yeah, ten, 10 breath. No, do, do. Deep breath. All right, guys, there's there's a really important push and pull, a dichotomy today. Two things that you have to keep in mind that are on both sides of the spectrum. One is that um, it's really important to, of course, like play smart and use our brains and, and respect our opponents. And at the same time, the thing that I don't want and nobody wants to see, and especially you guys don't want to see, is to let this team do anything that they shouldn't be allowed to do just because of their heritage or their history. And you guys I know are very good at like making sure you're looking at the game in front of you and evaluating that. But I, when we go out there, I want you to look at rocks and I want you to see people, humans. I don't want you to see like a Korean team, you know, with a with a heritage. I want you to see uh, another team of League of Legends players that are just people. And if they try to do something in the game that they shouldn't be allowed to do, don't second guess yourselves. Don't say, well, maybe they have some overarching plan. Maybe they've trained against this with some with KT. Maybe this is something that they came up. Just evaluate what you know about the game and punish them if they try to do something they shouldn't be allowed to do. So give in to that instinct that you've honed here in the ULCS, the animal instinct that you know when something's wrong, okay? And at the same time, you have to pull against that. You have to say like, okay, well we need to level up, we need to play smart, and we also need to think about like what could be possible. So I wanna see growth in the game, and I don't wanna see any moment where they're actually walking over us, or taking things when they shouldn't be allowed to take. Does that make sense? It's a dichotomy in your mind. You can do both of those things at the same time if you push and pull, if you're in tune with your instinct of what you wanna punish and why. Just confirm it with your team and then go. Pull the trigger. But here we go! G2 Esports versus the Rocks Tigers! This blood goes the way of Rocks Tigers! And, and Rocks are 3-0 up! Hurts goes down! Rocks Tigers, they take everything from G2! They're gonna lose game one! Can G2 keep EU's hopes alive in this semi-final? G2 with the aggressive level 1 plays. Trick comes out with the level 2 gang. But he will be able to finish it off. Double up in the top lane. And G2 storming ahead. G2 are going to a third map in this series. I just had FBS lag the first two minutes of the game. So I was first out as fuck. And I can't pause for it. So you, can, you rest your side. So you can't pause your FPS yeah. lag? No, no, I can't. Only, you, you, only you, if it gets worse or if, if something right? else happens. Do you have a left? Yeah, a little bit. And you? Yeah. I'm um, um, this, this just, game, the only man. Just early game, a little bit freeze and then yeah. mid, 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 sometime, just fucking boom, one yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, like, same, what, same, what, same. We had a few issues with uh, the PCs on stage. Expect had a lot of lags. It's really a bummer, but the, other, the only other option was to just leave the tournament or forfeit. So we decided that it's better to put on a show for all the people who came there, even if it meant that we would very probably lose. We had a dominant game one from the Rocks Tigers. We had a dominant game two from G2 Esports. Yes. Now it all comes down to game three. Ben taking huge amounts of damage. The Ignite is down. Will it take yeah. away? Spank goes down. First put to key in a 2v2. But it's Mickey flashing forward to get one more auto. Another kill for the mid laner. And it's 3 0 to Rocks. Have to. Got to do something. That They're is going. for sure. They can't let that go for free in G2. They're making the miracle play. We've got to see this go down ASAP. But Rocks, they know what's up. They've spotted it out with a ward. Oh, here we go. A lot of damage coming down. They can take this quickly with perks. But Kurt Cole comes on it. 3,000. Does he get another steal? They it got goes it. the way of G2. But do they win the Ooh. fight? Look at the Emperor's device. The damage coming on through. But it's Mickey flashing to the back of the pit. He's going to be able to go down. And now G2, they've got to finish this fight off. Sanyu flashes out of the pit. Linderag on this front line, but he's into Guardian Angel. Sun one trying to escape. G2 go for the risky play. They say you take the dragon, we're gonna take the Baron. Look at the face of some new Rock Tigers know that they have failed this fight. And G2, they're gonna win against the Korean team in an international competition and make their way to the final. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Europe are in the finals. I ended up making this insane comeback of 12k gold the differential so it was just kind of unexpected to get like kind of uh, rolled over by them early game but uh, I was really happy with our mental endurance and uh, our strength to come back 
I trusted in the, the foundation that we had set in our practice with the addition of our the adaptations of the meta that we had a really good chance at winning the tournament. So there was a lot of trust coming from the coaching staff. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait. Circle, make a circle. Okay, guys, please, I need um. to. <laughs> I'm very cool. Remember that there's two different kinds of motivation, competition and mastery. And I know some of you are really frustrated mastery-wise. You're frustrated that we didn't get optimal play, that you struggle to improve every day, and you're, you sometimes look at the past and look at the present and say, how can I get better? Why am I not better? And then there's competitive mastery, just defeating people and feeling edified by that. So we've reached the final, and I want to be both really proud of that and also really hungry to still defeat and still be competitive. Um, and I know that this, this tournament has been really inspiring in terms of our future motivation, for, for mastery motivation, in terms of like what it is that we want to do to be better than ourselves in this tournament. Weldon has offered a, a very different approach to thinking about certain situations. Um, he's brought a different perspective on playing from behind, playing from ahead, and the kind of mindset and uh, psychological tricks that you can use for yourself to actually get the most out of the moment and also helps players to not let emotions control their actions, um, which has been a great part to the growth of the team. No G2 fighting. We got what? Hey, he G2... No G2 fighting, we win. No, take on game, start the game. We first game, we G2 fighting. So <laughs> what do we say right now? I'm going to G2. Uh, 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 kebab house, let's go. Just, just like, just do it, no? One, yeah, two, yeah, three, and yeah. 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 Okay. One, two, three. One, three. One, two, three. three. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's time to go to the stage, please. It's that time. Yeah. So please keep us mice. Two number one teams to win that trophy and a lion's share of $150,000 to win a world championship here on the first weekend of the Intel Extreme Masters. It's going to take skills and it's going to take mental strength. So please welcome to the stage the Flash Wolves and G2! G2 Esports and Flash Wolves. I'm expecting, okay, maybe he's a little middling for the rest of the team. Still man. Well. And let's see if he can make a big name for himself there, forcing the Flash on MMD. And Trick is right at his back for first blood. Yeah, the curtain call is going to get opened up. Let's see if Perks is going to be putting on his dancing shoes. Silence stopped up. He goes in for Sword Art, but Betty blows him away. And I don't think he's hanging up to survive this Sword Art. Is he even going to live through the burst? Damage the burst? Perks. And now Cards attacks his way in. MMD in the front line. This is exactly how the Flash Wolves want to play it as Maple takes down Mithy. And they're bringing the party right into the back oh, of Jesus. Flash Wolves take game one of our grand finals. As Flash Wolves finally return to their level of play we saw in previous days. This Flash Wolves return. Just, just play. Just think about, think about a uh, team game. Don't try to kill, and just uh -huh. uh, respect your opponent. Uh, and, and we will win. We have really good early game. If we snowball early game like this again, or just like get another type of early game, we we, we can we, we can do very good. Like I, I, I have trust in us. Really. Yeah. 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 Also, they, they warm up, and we are not warm up. So now we warm up, and now we win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, yeah. uh, one more. So drop. Same You're like good. rocks. Okay. Good. What's one, one, two, two three. three. G2 G2 fighting! Fighting! We're here, we're ready. This could be the final game of the entire tournament. Flash Wolves on the precipice of victory, looking for some redemption. Remember, they faltered at IEM Oakland, but they have come out swinging here in Katowice. Sort of, we're way pushed up right now. Immediately flashing a carry, double TP's coming in. Trick is locked up, but now Mithy has come to bear. The equalizer. Up. Down the equalizer, Sword Art is gonna be the first blood. And Betty now getting sharp roiled. Down to zero, Sven picks up a kill. Another auto, Perks looking to fire a few more down. Flashing forward, finishing the job, unleashed the power. Perks gets it and takes a tower shot on the way out. Here's the reaction right now. Teleport's gonna complete, but immediately expect it to be right the wall. Trick is isolated, in goes Mithy with the depth charge. On to Betty, but they're split focus right now. G2 are looking for something, anything. Can they find a kill? It doesn't look to be the case, and Perks is taken down to zero. It feels like it's just the killing fields for Flash Wolf. G2 are putting up a front of resistance, but it's just not coordinated. It's just not enough. But there is no chance of redemption. There is no chance of victory. And the Flash Wolves have taken it all. Two and zero to become the IEM Katowice World
The most important things we're going to take from this event is that we can actually win internationally. So at the next event, which hopefully is MSI, we won't have that weight on our shoulders anymore. Also, we got tested in whether our scrims were efficient enough and if they need to be even more efficient. And I think uh, this tournament has shown uh, several ideas that we can still do and implement that other teams are doing that can improve us a lot. And also in the macro department, we've seen things at this event that we've never thought of, never seen before. So I think we have a long road ahead of us, but it's going to be a good one. I think our first goal is to go back, to, for me, it's to go back to MSI and finish the very all starter, you know, how, how it's called. And now that I have like a really good performance for myself, I'm really sure that we will get there and we will make EU great again. Yeah.